our exclusive look at the Trump second term agenda. You may remember that a couple of weeks ago, I asked of the Trump campaign, where's the energy? Where are the ideas for the future? Well, with this new policy plan, they've answered those questions and then some. After talking to President Trump and seeing these plans, it seems to me that the president and his team are bursting with ideas to move the country forward. Concrete plans, not the vague platitudes we heard last week, which themselves were completely overshadowed by the non-stop negativity of the Democrats' doom and gloom convention. Because the Democrats and their media allies are so consumed by hate for Trump and his supporters, they think that all they have to do to win is lie hysterically about Trump and scream about systemic this and structural that. No. People want to know what you're going to do for them. Specific, practical things, not just esoteric academic concepts. And here's what the Trump campaign is promising to do for you and this country in a second term. The plan is called Fighting for You. The best is yet to come. There are 50 commitments in 10 categories, including jobs, ending our reliance on China, drain the swamp, defend our police, end illegal immigration and protect our workers, and innovate for the future. One of the categories is eradicate COVID-19. And in fact, there was important progress towards that end just this afternoon with the president's announcement of FDA authorization for the use of convalescent plasma as a therapeutic. This is a uh, powerful therapy that transfuses very, very strong antibodies from the blood of recovered patients to help treat patients battling a current infection. It's had an incredible rate of success. In the weeks ahead, we'll take you through all the key policies in this document and show you the contrast between this and the Biden-Bernie Sanders platform. But for now, here are a few specific highlights. Tax credits for companies that bring manufacturing jobs back from China, with a target of a million jobs returning. Providing school choice to every child in America. Exposing Washington's money trail and delegating powers back to the people and the states, one I particularly love. Winning the race for 5G and establishing a national high-speed internet network. There is so much more, exactly what we wanted to see.